Hey cuties, this is Balisa L. Phillips. I am live at the L'Oreal event with Tucson Beidou. And you know what? I am worth it. So if you're not here, don't worry. We got you covered with all the content. Check it out. So I got this package from Fashion Nova. I actually ordered this uh, robe over two months ago. It got lost in the mail, so I assumed I wasn't getting it anymore. Um, but yeah, it's here guys. It's not quite the one I ordered because I noticed that the label is different. So I'm assuming it got sold out after I bought it. And the material isn't to my liking. I thought it would be a bit thicker, but hey, it's here and I'm a girly, so I'm gonna wear it. morning cuties it's a friday my favorite day of the week um i'm always happy on fridays that's why um so last night i had a little rough night <laughs> to say the least i don't know what happened to me i just i got so overwhelmed by my thoughts and that consumed me into having some sort of breakdown like i broke down and i was crying i was so emotional i still am you can tell um i'm not that good at hiding my feelings uh but i, I was okay this morning you know i woke up i was positive i'm like yes beautiful morning i'm gonna get it um and then Tools reached out and was like, girl, are you okay? And immediately when like a friend or someone reaches out and asks me or a family member, I break down. I don't know what's, what's wrong with me. So just now, like the emotions came back and I'm like, I do need to talk to someone. I don't know why I even stopped therapy because I feel like therapy was helping for a while you know it's just thoughts where you're just like what's happening you know um like days are not the same you know you see progress and then tomorrow you're just like i feel stuck i feel stuck in the same place when is it ever gonna be my turn you know you start questioning yourself um, you start questioning everything you believe in. It's so difficult. 
And the hardest part is just to, you know, get yourself together. Like I'm trying to do now, or just remind yourself who you are. You're God's child, and you know who God is. And he'll never, ever let you down. So I just, I need to take a moment and just talk to God and let him know that I'm not, I'm not okay. I'm not okay, but I will be okay. I definitely will be okay. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys and be like, I don't know if you guys also experienced something similar, but it's okay to feel like things are not happening as fast as you'd like them to. It's okay to, it's okay to not be okay, you know? Not every day is going to be sunshine and roses, even though I'd like to think. But we'll make it, you know. We, we just, we can't give up on ourselves. We can't give up on our dreams. And we just need to keep the faith, even when things are not moving, even when things are not changing and things seem stagnant. God is working. He's working. Now we just need to do our part to stay consistent, to stay strong in our faith, and just keep pushing and keep fighting, fighting for our spot. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to start my day. Um, I'm attending a L'Oreal event later this evening. And Tor's mom is also having like a birthday dinner. But now I can't attend because I, you know, I had committed to attending the L'Oreal event literally two months ago. That's when the invite came out. So it's going to be fun. I'm going to see the other ladies there. Hey, Bobo. I'm going to see, um, hopefully, people I haven't seen in a while because I haven't been attending events lately. Um, but I'm so excited about that. So that's one positive thing that's happening today. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to wear. Amani, you're scratching me up. Oh, you need to go cut your nails. I'm going to show you guys um, my dress and then take you guys with me when I go do my makeup later. is the dress I'm gonna put it on for you guys so you get an idea of how it looks um, but then yeah I'm only gonna wear it up a bit oh I have hiccups sorry um, I'm only gonna wear it a bit later so let me show you guys how it looks so this is the dress um, this is basically how the dress looks i also got this i don't know what you call this thing man um help me in the comments but that thing uh is it a shawl is it a what, what is this fur thing just so i don't get cold because you guys already know it's gonna be cold i got this from fashion nova and I got this from Forever New. So I'm just gonna try them on for you guys quickly and continue with the day. 
So the inspiration for this dress is Kim Kardashian. Um, the dress that she wore at her friend's wedding. I will put the picture here. When I saw that dress, I fell in love completely. So I had to get something similar and I thought this would be perfect for tonight's event. So yeah. And then I'm just gonna have my fur. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. This fur thing. Just to, you know, when it's too cold outside, there's no need to worry because I'm still warm inside. Okay. So that's, that's the idea. You guys catch my vibe? You, you got it? You catch it? See, now we have that volume made by the boobs. I don't know if you guys see a difference. I see a difference. But yeah, definitely giving confidence. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Nothing major, let me change. This is basically how I look before makeup. This is the hair I'm rocking today and I'm about to say goodbye to Armani. Um, yeah, I'll actually dress up in the car, guys. I don't have a choice because Nagoya Ninja. So I'll see you guys there. trying to push <laughs> I just wish this event was next week um, tonight's event I wish it was next week because I'm not yes um, it's the L'Oreal uh, launch with Tuso yeah, so I haven't been going to a lot of events lately and it's affecting your point. Yeah, so <laughs> I need to jump back and be like, okay, guys, I'm still here. Should I switch this thing off? No, it is. Okay, cool. My camera died guys so don't don't come for me so just wanted to show you guys the makeup we just got done and i'm gonna quickly change into the dress We wanted to know, obviously, from a brother. Because of that video. <laughs> what are you saying now? <laughs> <laughs> no, she did well. So I'm shocked. You actually like my makeup. Yeah, I like it. It's not. You see, even the eyebrows. Yeah, they did them very well. <laughs> I'm glad. There's no lines. I'm glad. Those, those lines and that you don't the understand. Lines. The lines. <laughs> anyway, guys, we are on our way to the event so, now. I'm running a bit late, but what's so new?
Phillips, I am live at the L'Oreal event with Tucson Beidou and you know what? I am worth it. So if you're not here, don't worry. We got you covered with all the content. Check it out. joining me and celebrating what has been an incredible journey and milestone for both me and L'Oreal. It's a strike of confidence. It's a brush of boldness that brings color to our personality and color to our day. See what I did there? That was full makeup and force. <laughs> and today, as we welcome to some baby, we are embracing not only just the talented actress, but also a woman that embodies the philosophy of our brand.
back home guys so yeah as got drama as got drama the event was beautiful saw people i haven't seen in forever so that was amazing because i haven't been attending events lately but it was good to be out and be with everyone else i did miss a few people but there's always next time um so i'm glad i went i'm actually glad i got out of the house today um even though i wasn't feeling you know up to it earlier um, we had such such a good time um yo budget the budget nearly thing so big ups to the l'oreal team they did such a fantastic job um everything was well organized to the t um so i can't fault them on anything it was actually very very entertaining the food was lovely um how they thought everything out like okay guys you know there's a station where you can drop off your coat there's a station where you can drop off your shoes and, you know get flats for later whatever the case is so that's amazing guys not amani asking me to take him down to go pee Kawan, Jose. Need to pee? You want to go pee? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. <sighs> Let's take him down. I've also hasn't said anything. So I keep There we go. There we go. There we go. Look how light I am. <laughs> Look at all that. Mm. Guys. Ah, makeup. Uh. You so satisfying. Ah. Uh. There's nothing more satisfying than taking off the lashes. Oh, that feels so good. It feels so good. I actually wanted to ask you guys, like, have you ever had, um, I don't know, friendship misunderstandings where one person thought something and then that just caused I don't know like a drift where now the other one is upset turning skin into the other one is upset at you but you're upset at something else or you're not sure what they're upset about and then you hear about it and you're like like a situation where someone is upset um, and you were not aware right they're upset uh, because of something you did and you were not aware that you did that thing you're like hold up wait a minute um, I did not know that I offended you in some way um, so obviously it's a misunderstanding like how do you guys handle that do you just sweep it under the rag and act like it didn't happen or do you say something because also in saying something a person might not take it well you say something and then you know they just read your message and move on with life and it's like oh, okay well then I guess that's that or do you actually talk about it like easy you know like honestly we're people you know and we are all different and we deal with things differently and if there's a misunderstanding or a miscommunication or maybe even just me offending you in some way Holla at me, let me know. Balisa, you're offending me. Or oh, you offended me, ning ning, because of one, two, three. 
you know, as a grown up, I'm obviously going to have to take it and be like, look, I'm sorry I offended you. Um, it wasn't my intention or, you know, just apologize and have a clean slate. That's basically what I think I would do. Like, if we had a proper conversation, I think that's basically what I would do. But, okay. You know, it ain't always that easy. Ah, this lipstick was everything though. I kind of feel bad removing it. Because it looks so good. Oh, it's like a little I need lipstick remover. You know one of those things where you like, it's useless buying a lipstick remover until you wear red lipstick. Anyway, I'm talking too much. We need to go to sleep. And yeah, otherwise, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you guys like the video and subscribe for more content weekly and of course hit the notification bell so you know when I will be posting my next video but anyway, I will appreciate it if you share with a friend, you know, let them know, hey, this is girl, this is Han, you know, um, yeah. I would appreciate that if you can choose however. Otherwise, good night. Love you.